everyone it's Vanessa today I wanted to film a video kind of looking at my 2018 reading and seeing how I'm doing with my goals I know that the year is basically almost over but I didn't get a chance to do this in the middle of the year when I usually did and I'm now I'm just kind of trying to figure out what it is that I need to do to finish up my goals or to see if some of them are just completely not going to happen so I am watching myself my video of me talking about my 2018 goals to kind of see I don't remember half of them. Yeah, I'm taking it easy with everybody else. So I'm going with the same Goodreads goal as last year. I'm reading 52 books. And that's I've for done me that. is more than doable. I read more than a book list for this upcoming year. This one doesn't really have anything to do with anything. I, I'm not making a 2018 TBR and that didn't impact my reading. For me, it's not books published before 2010. And you'll see this in my stats too, I think. Read older books. I... Sorry to say. It hasn't really happened. I'm keeping an Excel sheet of the things that I've read this year and a lot of them, a lot of them are 2017 and 2018 releases. That's not a good one for me. I want to read more children's books. I've done that really well, I think. I think I've read a lot more juvenile literature this year than I did last year. I also want to try more popular slash commercial books. Not necessarily saying I'm not... I think I read, I tried to read one Louise Penny book and I didn't like it, and I haven't tried anything since that. Your David Baldacci's, your James Patterson's, your Nora Roberts, your J.D. Robbs, they're not happening for me. Every time that we put them up, <sighs> uh, why do they like it so much? Challenge that my library system is doing. Oh, yeah. It's only 12 challenges, and they're really fun. I'll read them out loud so you can get an idea of the Ma things please. that we're trying to accomplish there. All right, so it's a book by an author whose last name starts with a B. Done it. A book about or set in Africa. A Done book it. with a red cover. Done a travel it. memoir. Done it. A book that has been on your to-read list for too long. Yeah. A biography or autobiography. Yeah. Listen to an audiobook. Woo. A young adult title. Yeah. A book published this year, so in 2018. Of course. A book of poetry. Yeah. A book from the Dewey range 600 to 699. Haven't and done a that. mystery. I think yeah, those all sound really doable for me. So out of the 12, I've only not read something from the Dewey Decimal System to 600 to 700, 699, whatever I said. Um, and I have to like look into it because maybe I have, but I haven't intentionally tried to do it. I do have a book in mind that I could work for that and I might read for Nonfiction November, but... I think that's the only one out of the 12 challenges that I haven't done, and I have a month and a half to finish it, so I think I'm good. So now we can move on to stats. Okay, that's it. Woo! I, I didn't know what I was getting into when I started this that video. So really the only things that I did not do is read popular authors and read older books. Those are the two things that I've honestly failed at, um, and I think I'm okay with that. So what I need to do in the next month and a half is to read something from that Dewey Decimal 600 plus and maybe try to read another popular author. We'll see. Are you guys thinking of doing any goals for next year? I haven't started thinking about it and I really don't think... I think maybe I'll just participate in a reading challenge and I won't do any goal setting otherwise. I would like to know kind of like what reading challenges there are out there so I can select one that's good. Maybe I'll try a 24 book one next year instead of a 12 book one like I did this year. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye. And Sam's smiling for you. Right Sam? Are you smiling? <laughs> are you smiling? What are you doing? I don't get this dog. I don't get you.